Hi everyone, my name is Jeremy Schaefer and uh, this is my first time really doing a YouTube video. I've done videos in the past but nothing so spontaneous. Uh, well, today I'm going to try to make... Um, this is this stellated icosahedron. Uh, I've had this mild infatuation for the stellated icosahedron for many years and uh, Jim Mori with his uh, tessellation with his um, polyhedra balloons has inspired me to take up the art. So here is how uh, to make a stellated uh, icosahedron out of balloons. Alright, so you start out with... It's ten balloons, but I'm going to start with five. So you go like this, just wrap them around one time so that those colors line up. And then uh, and we do, we make like a sword shape. Each balloon is going to be divided into knots because the stellated icosahedron has uh, 90 edges, which means that with 10 balloons, it's going to be divided, each balloon, into 9 segments. So this here, here are the nine segments. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this last one will be divided into two at the end. So we do that uh, four more times. We're just working on the northern hemisphere, and then we'll do the southern hemisphere after that. So here we go again. Here's one. It's one, two, three, and four. Here we connect the two and continue. Uh, and two more and reach in and connect the two. And here we have another sword coming out that way. <laughs> and we continue. If you didn't catch that, hopefully you'll get it again. <laughs> Here's the red one. And around here like this four so there's, there's four Oops. and connect the three right like that and, and once again we we through here and there's the red side. And I'm going to try to do it a little bit closer, maybe if that might help. One, two, three, four. The silver balloons are a little bit firmer for some reason. Okay, four. Connect the last three. And this. Well, I don't know if close to what helps anyway. But you get the idea. It's a, it's a sword shape like this. Okay, one more time. Let's see if I can be a little bit more clear. Although there's a bunch of balloons in the way, so you probably won't be able to see this one. Okay, one. One. Two. Three. Four. Four. The links. You link the last three. Bring this up. And... Okay, now we have five ends down here and five swords up here. Well, all we need to do now is link the ends to one of the sides of, the, of each sword. So the green goes to the green. Okay, green goes to green. Blue goes to blue. We'll arrange it um, after the secret. I mean, it, like it could be either this one or that one, but it doesn't. We'll figure it out after we do it. It could be either. Right now. That's red goes to red. Let's see what I mean. So we do this. Okay. And silver to silver.
Uh, so now we have these five things. Now to arrange them, we want to make them go in, in like a spiral in the same direction. You'll notice that um, where we tied the balloons together, it's a, a three, a vertice of three balloons, whereas the other one uh, is four. We want to bring all of the three ones on top, and we want them to spiral in the same direction. So it's going to come around this way. And this way, and this way, and this way there's a three. So uh, we're going to make this balloon go um, it's going to go there's three triangles and the, the long balloon goes in the last triangle the furthest the clo furthest toward the end so it's going to go in that triangle and then it locks um, it locks on the four, the vertice of four, not on the vertice of two. So the one right up there. And now we take the next one, and it's going to go in the last, into the last triangle there, and. So once again we have this long loop that goes into the last triangle and it comes up like that. I hope I'm in the um, frame. Okay. And now we take this one, goes into the last Here on the top, see it's like a, a hat, a hat like that. Um, but we actually want we have this is a stellated icosahedron. So this is one side of the stellated icosahedron, and uh, down here these are going to be um, other points of the stellated icosahedron. So we want these to stick out as much as possible, and, and we'll have the long point um, go down. So it looks like it's like a, a squid or something, or a, some sort of sea creature. And there we have it. So the idea is to make two, um, oh, two of these. So we need one more, and then um, and then you you tie them together. And each of these is going to be divided. And the time together is, well, I better fit that in somewhere, but um, I'll leave that for the next exercise. <laughs> Needless to say, you get two, one up there and one down there, and you end up with a stellated icosahedron. And what uh, I really wanted to do with these is this. Anyway, all right, that's all. Happy twisting, everyone.